Hi there, Mark here with another video for Yuhi Zebra for ADSR. Um, before we go any further, as always, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's the link right there. Today we're going to do another sound effect. Basically we're going to be using an oscillator and an FMO. We're going to have um, some modulation created by the global LFOs using the random hold to give the sound a kind of a unique random type effect. And a little bit squelchy the sound by messing around with the tuning on the oscillator. So without further ado, let's get going. So just go to your patches and initialize your patch. Come down to oscillator 1 and make sure the fin saw pulse is selected. And if yours is the same as mine, put it on wave 5. It's in fact just a saw wave. So then we're going to go to synthesis now. What we're going to do is we're going to put the re-trigger on so that the oscillator, every time it's triggered, starts at the same phase position. We're going to modulate the tuning with an LFO, a global LFO that is. And we're also going to have an FMO in here, which I shall just turn off for the time being. So before we do anything, let's set up the envelopes and the global LFO and the LFO. So I will just leave this pretty much as it is. Although we'll bring the decay down somewhat. Maybe down. Now again, as usual, you can mess around with these settings to your own taste. But I'm, I'm, I like to just leave it there. It's kind of a nice basic kind of setting that I like to use. And the LFO and the global LFO... Well, the LFO is probably going to be left pretty much at that. However, you will see that my rate kind of on this patch drops to about 80. It seems to be a, a common preset that I use or a common setting for the rate. So I like to just leave it there. Uh, the LFO one, however, we're going to change a few things. Uh, the global. Now, what we need to do is probably put this up and then mess around with the settings till we get what we want. <laughs> Now you can hear the squelchiness, that's because of the tuning being uh, manipulated quite fiercely. But we're going to make it a bit more fierce by putting that to one eighth. The amp we're probably going to leave full up. Um, but we're going to change this to random hold. So sample and hold for those of you that maybe know it as that. And we're just going to mess around with the rate a little bit. <laughs> That should do us right there. Okay, so now that we have the global LFO set up, okay, we can move on to the next part, which is our FMO. Now, we're going to set this up, and we're going to use the FM Self Plus. Basically, this is that one there is good for kind of square wave, triangle wave type tones, and that's kind of what we want for this. Now, you can hear that coming through just as a tone there so we're going to have to set it up and that's pretty much it for the FMO there is some other modulation that we're going to do in the matrix section here and basically all we're going to modulate is LFO1's rate so if we come into LFO1 select rate and we're going to use LFO2 to do that so we'll create an LFO2 as you'll see it'll pop up over here put that up to 100 and we'll set up LFO2 settings now let's have a listen Change this to sixteenths. So what we're doing here is using LFO two to modulate the rate of LFO one. Of course, you could have just right clicked there and done it, but I decided to do it down here. It's just giving it a little bit more movement, and that's really what this is. This this kind of sound, certainly for my purposes when I'm doing it anyway, I want it to be have a random feel to it, which it has certainly by using the random hold here, but it's also still quite defined and controllable. So finally, we're going to add mod effects, delay. And reverb. I'll just turn these off for the moment. And the mod effects, we're going to use the phaser. 
and mix it full. Again, just adding to the movement, you can be as subtle or over the mark as you want with this. Okay, and then we've got a delay and reverb. We'll just pop the sends up and mix them in. It's up to you what way you want to do this. The delay, I'm probably just going to leave it pretty much as is. It's lovely, just even a touch of delay when you're uh, making these kind of sounds really gives it that added depth and randomness. I might even change that to quarter eight, one eight dots. <laughs> Actually sounds better in this case with the um just at quarters. But we don't really need to touch any of that. I would just leave that as it is. And the reverb full wet. Take the dry down and probably just leave it. <laughs> So yeah, it gives it that kind of otherworldly feel. Just with that bit of reverb, you could imagine like weird little creatures running around inside a cave on some unexplored planet. Well, that's how I see it anyway. Anyway, that's it. You now have your... It's got that squelchiness because of the tuning modulation up here. I love these kind of sounds. I think it's great. <laughs> So that's it. Don't forget to sign up to zebratutorials.com so that you can get the weekly subscriber-only videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Very basic, but it's all. I'm, um, hopefully you would have learned that a lot of this stuff is all about modulation. I hope you enjoyed it, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.